Japan contains more than 100 active volcanoes. Of these, none are as famous as Mount Fuji. Since its formation, Mount Fuji has been viewed by hundreds of millions of people, being a notable often snow-covered peak visible from Tokyo and appearing in abundant artwork. In fact, Mount Fuji is still considered to be the most perfectly symmetrical volcano by many people as it has a near-perfect circular cone-shaped profile. However, on this volcano there is one notable imperfection. What I am referring to are a series of three vast and deep explosion craters that formed on Mount Fuji's southeastern slope in 1707 in a powerful and destructive eruption which was 38% larger than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. Although Mount Fuji has not erupted since that 1707-1708 event, its four dozen eruptions in the last 10,000 years marks a fairly high rate of activity, which means it will one day erupt again. Due to the proximity of how many people live and work nearby, and Fuji's highly explosive nature when it does erupt, I personally consider Mount Fuji to be one of the world's ten most potentially dangerous volcanoes. But first, why is Mount Fuji colored such a beautiful shade of red unlike most other towering volcanoes? The answer is that unlike most other volcanoes which are colored gray due to an abundance of andesite lava, Mount Fuji is largely a less viscous basaltic stratovolcano. Just like the Uluwun volcano in Papua New Guinea, Fuji's summit region is covered by an oxidized basaltic rock type known as scoria. Scoria largely forms during Strombolian eruptions when dissolved gas and volcanic rock is ejected during an explosion. The story of Mount Fuji, which is located 100 kilometers west-southwest of the city of Tokyo, began 700,000 years ago. At the time, basaltic composition magma initially reached the surface, erupting in an explosive manner due to a relatively high gas content. Over the next 500,000 years, this volcanic cone known as Komatake erupted hundreds of times, depositing layer after layer of basaltic lava and ash. By the time eruptive activity at this older volcanic cone ceased, it had a peak 7,500 feet above sea level. The remnants of this cone can now be found on the north slope of the modern Mount Fuji. After a period of dormancy, a new cone known as Old Fuji began to form 80,000 years ago. Over the next 64,000 years, numerous eruptions of basaltic lava and ash caused this mountain to climb to 10,000 feet in height. Four eruptions during this phase of Old Fuji involved highly explosive Plinian eruptions, what we consider the final cone of Mount Fuji that consists of the top 2,389 feet of the volcano completely formed during the last 14,000 years. A heightened rate of eruptive activity has occurred in much of the time since, depositing layer after layer of beautiful scoria, lava, and ash. As Mount Fuji continued to grow in height, new eruptive vents opened around this volcano's flanks, resulting in the eventual placement of 56 flank cinder cones and vents during this period. One of these vents is known as Mount Omoro, which erupted and emplaced a basaltic lava flow in 1030 BCE. These flank vents largely occurred along a north-northwest trend, which would represent the same trend that would appear during Fuji's largest historical eruption. This eventual eruption lasted for 71 days between 1707 and 1708 and was linked to the occurrence of a major magnitude 8.7 megathrust earthquake occurring 49 days earlier. This quake merely sped up the timetable of Fuji, which was already primed to erupt in a fairly short amount of time. Known as the Hawaii eruption, this sequence repeatedly created a 20-kilometer or 65,600-foot-high mushroom-shaped eruption column as three powerful blasts carved out 500 to 1,400 meter-wide overlapping craters on Fuji's southeastern slope. Continuous ash emissions caused an area of 112,000 square kilometers to receive a layer of ash, including 40 centimeters thick in Gotemba, 19 centimeters thick in Kamokura, 2 centimeters thick in Tokyo, and 3 centimeters thick of ash in Asashi. In total, 1.8 cubic kilometers of tephra was ejected, meaning this eruption was a sign of volcanic explosivity index of a 5. Today, the mountain is quiet, although on occasion, volcanic earthquakes occur in its vicinity. Statistically speaking, Mount Fuji during the last 10,000 years has averaged an eruption about once every 210 years. If an eruption was to occur, it would present a variety of hazards. And no, despite what tabloids ridiculously claim, an eruption from Fuji will not destroy Tokyo. 
However, it is true that future eruptions could destroy populated areas with pyroclastic flows, heavy ashfall, potentially long-reaching lahars, and lava flows, with lava flows being capable of striking areas up to 40 kilometers away from Fuji's summit. As a final note, I would like to thank my new patron Jane Locker for supporting this channel.